Rick Becker this week announced that he is running for Congress, hoping to fill the seat which is currently filled by Kelly Armstrong, who is instead running for governor. KX News' Adrian Oglesby talked more with Becker about his upcoming campaign. Dr. Rick Becker, originally from Mandan, has lived in North Dakota his entire life. Now, as things shake up in the world of state politics, he is hoping to represent our state on the federal platform. Why Congress? Um, <laughs> it's interesting. It's because it's needed. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. Moving to Washington, D.C. does not sound very appealing to me. It's not, it's not my jam. But it's needed. We're, we're in so much trouble right now. That it doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat. Nobody's getting anything done. We haven't had an actual budget since 1997. Mm -hmm. and, and it's because people don't stand for principle. And, and again, regardless of which party you're at, it should be frightening on how Department of Justice, FBI can be weaponized, on how we have a two-tiered uh, system of justice for people that are bureaucrats and are connected. Mm -hmm. They can break the law and get away with it. They can come up to Congress and lie. Nobody holds them accountable. That, that has to stop. He says he has thought about other positions like challenging Senator Kevin Kramer. It has quest, crossed my mind. Mm -hmm. um, there are some significant areas where I think Kevin Kramer needs to do better. And one is spending. Both he and Senator Hoven have been big, big spenders. Mm -hmm. That doesn't represent North Dakota, and there are other areas as well. But you know, we have to we have to look at what the opportunities are. And uh, for instance, uh, Sen Senator Kramer uh, is well liked by President Trump. Um, he's got a huge war chest. There's this and that. So we can look and say, well, this person's voting record isn't what we want. Should we run against them? And maybe the answer is yes, maybe not. But here we have a, a seat that is now open. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity uh, to have something that's a much more likely, much more sure thing. So let's go there and at least, we, we can't do anything if we're not in the game. Okay. So let's get in the game. Dr. Becker shared as far as the 2024 presidential election goes, he is standing with Donald Trump. And when he is in D.C. with Trump, some of his main focuses will be. One that's very easy to to sort of wrap your head around is the southern border. Mm -hmm. We do have to get control of the southern border. There, Regardless of how we feel about some other things, we can't deny that we have a huge problem with fentanyl, fentanyl mm -hmm. deaths and that's because it's coming across the border. We have a huge problem with human trafficking, uh, with predation on children. He adds that government spending needs to stop and changes need to be made to keep our doors open consistently. For your election headquarters, I'm Adrian Oglesby. KX News asked Becker instead why not run for governor once again. He said the offer was tempting because he loves being in North Dakota, but he says if elected, he believes that Kelly Armstrong would do a fine job.